This is one of the only countries on the globe where you are told not to abandon your homeland, but to bring your homeland to this land that you adopted. The power of America lies in the dash that fits between our culture. Bangladeshi dash American, Irish dash American, German, Jewish, African, Polish, Portuguese. That is who we are. That dash we must protect every day to ensure that we embrace whoever comes to the shores that they're able to continue to embrace their culture and the love of their home of birth as they embrace the culture and the love of this place we call America. There's something extremely significant and powerful about this country. I say it over and over again. This is the only place on the planet where dream is attached to our name. There's not a German dream, not a French dream, not a Polish dream, but darn it, there's an American dream. There's an American dream. And as men and women of the law enforcement community, you are protectors of that dream. But as you ensure that the people of this city are safe, and you call yourselves Bangladeshi American law enforcement, don't ever forget the Bangladeshi part. Don't become so American that you forget the importance of the Bangladeshi community. You must fight to ensure that your community is protected, your community is respected, and not treated any differently based on your dialect or your culture. And your children must be rooted in the understanding of the power of your community and what your culture represents. This is an important community. There aren't too many communities in this city that I strongly identify with as much as I do with this community. You believe in small business. You believe in education. You believe in public safety. You believe in ensuring that our city continue to prosper and grow. And I want you to continue to actively involve yourself with the civic responsibility. We need to find someone from the Bangladeshi community that will run for office and represent the Bangladeshi community in the process. Continue to study and move up through the ranks and participate in the hierarchy of this police department. Continue to encourage young people to enroll in the agency. But not only here, in every city agency, you should see a reflection of your community represented. This is your opportunity, as all communities prior to you participated in government and participated in the opportunities. There is a significant line in our national anthem. Bombs burst in air, gave proof through the night that our flag is still there. And all through our history, we dealt with those bombs. Those bombs were not only the physical bombs, it was the bombs of COVID the bombs of uncertainty, the bombs of violence, the bombs of crisis. But no matter what happened, our flag continued to still be here. Because of people arriving here from different locations and different shores. And as you reflect on your history of coming to this country, let us also remember there are those who left the shores of Texas and made their way here and were thrown out of some states, but we welcomed them here in New York. So just as you were welcomed, let's welcome the migrant and asylum seekers of today and let them know they have a place in New York City. That is what makes us different from everywhere else. New York City is America's country. 
We are the dream that people talk about. We realize that every day. And so I thank you for allowing me to come here. And I'm not a new friend, I'm an old friend. We've been together for so many years. And let's continue to grow together and move this city in the direction that we desire. God bless this community. God bless the NYPD. God bless New York City. And God bless America. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Adams. At this time, please direct your attention to the video screen for a BAPA video presentation.